Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Upgrade. In this video, I will show you how to install and set up Kali Linux in a very easy step on VMware. Open your browser and go to kali.org. Go to the download section. And here there are different versions for different platform. Here is the installer image, here is for virtual machines. We will go with virtual machines and there is also two different versions for for two different systems like 64 and 32 bit choose the 64 bit if your system does support this one and here all of these virtual machines are ready to use because they are pre-built and suited up for virtual machines and they are like plug and play and now i will use this one click on here if you want to download in the normal way and choose your location and save i have already downloaded and i don't need to re-download it so i will cancel this one we have downloaded the pre-built virtual machine for Kali Linux. Now it's time to extract it and configure it to our VMware. If you're using VirtualBox, you can download this one for VirtualBox. Let's go to the downloads folder. If you have downloaded for a specific location, go there. I have downloaded Kali Linux to this folder because I have created other virtual machines in this folder. It's my C drive, which is SSD, and it's very appropriate for running virtual machines. And this is the file we have downloaded. Now we have to extract this. I use 7-zip all the time for extracting compressed files. This is extracted. Now let's check the extracted folder. And here are the necessary files for Kali Linux. And I want to rename it. And now open your VMware. If you're using the VMware Workstation player, and that's completely free, I think. And this is the pro version. I'm using this one. No problem, you can go with a free version. When you come here, right click or go to file, open and the folder you have extracted it is Kali Linux and I open this one choose this file and open as you can see these are the configurations for this virtual machine if you want to modify or change them you can easily do that with edit virtual machine settings you can easily increase the memory processor or change the network adapters and i don't want to touch them right now i want to go with the default one click on power on this virtual machine And here it asks the username and password. You can use the default username, which is Kali, and the password is same as Kali. And click on login. Wow, here is our Kali Linux and it's completely ready to use. You can use it for whatever purpose you are going to use it and you can customize anything here. And I will create some other videos about Kali Linux, what are the necessary things to do after installing Kali Linux and don't forget to watch that video. See you in the next video.